Hello everybody and welcome to a PlayClaw 5 tutorial. In this video I'll be covering overlays. You can find overlays here under plugins and PlayClaw comes installed with these overlays already. There's also an API available which will allow you to create your own plugins and extend the functionality of PlayClaw if you like. So what can we do here in the screen? We can select the preview overlays and what we see here is a checkered area which represents a scaled down version of your screen. So this is a scaled down version of 1920 by 1080p in my case. And I can use the mouse button, the right hand mouse button to pan the screen around. And I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So it's very useful when you're trying to find the perfect position for your overlays. It might not be visible on the screen, but we have a vertical line here in the center, and again, horizontally. This can be used to help you align your overlays. So how can we adjust overlays exactly? Well, each overlay is depicted by a border, which can be resized like this. We can place the mouse inside the overlay and drag it to move it. And as you can see here, it also has a snapping functionality. So it'll snap to edges and it'll also snap to other overlay borders like that. You can in fact drag the overlay outside the area of your screen, but of course you won't see that then on your recording or even when you're in game. Now each overlay has three different buttons. Um, the one on the left here is render on screen, which basically means it'll be visible or not for you but it, not necessarily in the video. That's controlled by the second button here, which is render in the recording. So if I have this enabled, this information will also be shown in your video. And the third button here is the overlay settings. So that's the settings for the specific overlay I have selected right now, which is capture stat overlay. And in this screen, I can change the font of the overlay and the different colors for the various formats that it has there. Now all overlays have these three buttons and there is an exception which is the clock I have set up here. It has two extra buttons for alignment so I can choose to align my clock to the left or to the right of this overlay border. Okay, the other overlays here which are shown with a uh, yellow color are actually not enabled I've got them disabled on screen and in the recording, and that's why they're turned yellow. If I was to enable one of them, like that, you'll see that the yellow background disappears. So what I'm going to do now is jump into a game, and into Elite Dangerous here. Okay, and we once again we can see our overlays, and. In some cases, you may want to reposition your overlays as it's interfering with the game user interface. I'd like to try and keep all the information clear. So what we can do is jump back into PlayClaw. And you'll notice that PlayClaw has actually automatically taken a screenshot for us of the interface we just saw and place it here so that we can now use this information to reposition our overlays. So I could move this down, for instance. Maybe this one down a bit more, and this one all the way to the center. Something like that. So if we now jump back into game, we can see that the overlays have been repositioned as I've set them. There's one more information, uh, one more bit of information you'll need. So looking at each overlay, you can notice that they have a little red corner, a little red triangle in each corner. So they all have them, and what this basically is, is an anchor. So depending on where you've placed the overlay, uh, for instance, the clock, uh, it's more in the top right corner of the screen. So PlayClaw has been intelligent enough to set the anchor for this overlay in the top right corner. Same goes for this overlay here. It's in the bottom left. If I were to move it to the top right, you'll see that the anchor also changes. And what this anchor does is ensure that the overlay holds its position 
even if you resize the window. So if I were to resize the window, this overlay would keep its position right where it is in relation to the screen. So that's a basic overview of plugins. If you have any more questions that you'd like answered, you can head over to the forums for Playclaw and ask your questions there. There are always lots of people to uh, help out. And there will be more videos following with uh, explanations on uh, the various functions of Play Playclaw. If there's a specific uh, video you'd like to see, you can request it on the forums as well and we'll try and get it made. Thanks for watching and enjoy your recording.